could you give the pain you've got at the moment? This chapter gives you some straightforward facts about your heart attack. Understanding how your heart works and how to look after it can make a big difference to your recovery. It's the key to everything and it's the key for people to start taking control themselves as well because if you have an understanding yourself, it's much different. You take yourself to a whole different level. The heart is a very powerful muscular pump that drives blood around your body. Each day it beats around 100,000 times and pumps about 9,000 litres of blood. To keep your heart healthy, your heart muscle needs to get a good supply of oxygen-containing blood from the coronary arteries. At birth, your arteries are wide open, but over the years, fatty deposits or plaque build up in their walls and they can cause narrowing. This process is called atherosclerosis and the fatty material is called atheroma. For many people, it happens without causing any harm, but for others, over time, the artery becomes so narrowed, it can't deliver enough oxygen-containing blood to the heart muscle. And this is known as coronary heart disease. If you have coronary heart disease, you may experience the pain or discomfort of angina. Angina usually occurs with exertion, when the narrowed coronary arteries can't deliver enough oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscle, but it can also happen when you're resting. A heart attack happens when the plaque in the narrowed artery is damaged or inflamed. A crack appears in the artery's lining and a blood clot forms around this area, blocking the artery completely and starving the heart of oxygen. The symptoms of a heart attack vary widely, from severe pain in the centre of the chest to having mild chest discomfort. When there's a narrowing or blockage in one of the coronary arteries, classically it produces pain. But like all internal organs, the sensation from the heart can be very vague. And for many patients, it's not quite a pain. It's a pressure, a tightness, a restriction. Or sometimes it's just a feeling of being short of breath. So the important point is it, it, there's a classical description of tight pain, throat, down the left arm. But in very many patients, it'll be different. It'll be discomfort somewhere or just feeling ill. Other symptoms you may experience whilst having a heart attack include being sweaty, feeling lightheaded, or feeling or being sick. If you think you are having a heart attack, call 999 immediately. Okay, Hello, young man, what's happened? During a heart attack, there may also be serious disturbances in the heart rhythm, which could be life-threatening and means there's a risk of cardiac arrest. This is when the heart stops pumping and resuscitation is needed straight away. OK, what's the defib say? Analyzing. A cardiac arrest requires immediate emergency treatment, shock. and sometimes an electrical shock is used. This is known as defibrillation and can be successful in restoring a normal heartbeat. Getting to a hospital as quickly as possible can save your life and greatly reduce the risk of damage to your heart. After a heart attack, the area of damaged heart muscle is replaced by scar tissue and within two or three months, the hearts of many patients are recovering well. In the following chapters, you'll find plenty of advice to help you try and prevent further heart problems and lots of ideas on how you can have a good quality of life in the future.